can we go back to the plantation? <laughs> <laughs> that, that was that was a line that was somebody clip that floor. clip that <laughs> clip that right now. Speaking of racism, uh, Joe Biden is building a wall out here, and um, as, as racist as that might sound, lest you you, you question uh, why I, w- I would preach such slander about our Lord and Savior Joseph Robinette Biden, um, here's an interaction that uh, that that here. Why is the Biden administration building a border wall in Arizona? So um, we are not. Uh, we're not finishing the wall. Uh, we are cleaning up the mess the prior administration uh, left How are you cleaning it up? Their, in their failed attempt uh, to build a wall. And I just want to be very, very clear here. On day one, uh, we returned the money. Uh, if the problem was that there was a racist wall and they're cleaning it up, doesn't that mean they're tearing down the wall and then moving the debris? But I, I, I swear to God, this is the most gaslighting Orwellian shit that I've experienced in this incredibly gaslighting Orwellian period. And I can't believe that this is the narrative that they're running with. We are cleaning up the mess of the prior administration. How are you doing it? We're building the wall, but we're not building the wall. But are you building the wall? Yes, you're building the wall. And her whole argument is that she returns back the funds to the fucking military families as if that makes the wall any less racist. And which, by the way, which Peter Ducey points out, uh, I think now or, or prior, uh, she tweeted two and a half years ago, Trump's racist ass wall, you know, yep. something to that effect. Yeah. Oh, unbelievable. Yep. They're cleaning it up, though. Um, you, we'll watch the rest of this, then we'll comment. Eight billion dollars. Even though Clint already explained the whole thing. took from our military. We gave that back uh, to the military for military families, for schools, for bases. Uh, that's what that money was being used. That's what it was taken away from. And so, again, what we're doing is cleaning up the mess that the prior administration has done. When How? President Biden, when he was Brooms. a candidate, said there and Mexicans. will be another foot of wall <laughs> constructed in my administration. Yeah. So what changed? We are not finishing the wall. <laughs> Walls work Fuck. in that part of Arizona. Is this the administration trying to get migrants to cross somewhere else, like in Texas? What What is the plan? <clears throat> We are not finishing a wall. We are cleaning up the mess that the prior administration made. Read the script. Do not deviate. Lives. This is what, repeat the this, script. This is what the prior administration left behind that we are now cleaning. What up. is what? What is by the mess? The wall. Is this? We are not finishing. The wall. By filling <laughs> in, finishing. We are not finishing. The wall. By filling in. She's like a child. Uh, no. Is this? Is this racist? Uh-uh. Because in 2019, when the former guy was proposing a wall, you said uh, that it was his racist wall. So how is this any different? I'm just having a hard time understanding how this is any different. I'm not even sure how you get to your first question, to this question that you just asked me. Oh, God. Uh, it's border pointing wall, out your hypocrisy, I'm, you stupid I'm, I'm bitch. A border wall is ineffective use of taxpayer dollars. So it's ineffective of taxpayer dollars. Dollars that actually went to the military that the last administration, the prior president, took from the military, which took away from schools, which took Shut away up. from military bases. Silly <laughs> woman. That, <laughs> that he pulled away from uh, to build uh, this wall that he wanted that is ineffective, by the way, which I... All right. All right. Oh, it's ineffective, but it's going to be effective once right. you finish it, <laughs> you liars! They are not going to finish it. They're cleaning up the mess that uh, the former president... What's uh, funny is that, like you can't, she can't even say what the mess is. What what is the mess exactly? That would have been my question for what mess? With the mess of him making a racist wall, you're cleaning that up. How? More exactly. bricks? Put enough bricks there to cover it up? Is that what you're going? I, I, I don't understand. Like, it, no, they're I've going said, to put up more wall, Dan. That's what they're doing. <laughs> oh, I do understand. I'm being hyperbolic okay. uh, or okay. facetious or whatever words smart people use. Um, no, like it's just like. She can't define what mess they're cleaning up or how they're going to clean it up. And it, I've been saying this on Twitter a lot lately. Like, it's not enough for them to get you to believe a lie. They need you to believe the absolute, complete inversion of the truth on all these fucking things. Like, we, we went from Biden being anti, uh, like, um, defund the police in his running. And then in his State of the Union, he's like, I've always been pro-cop, which we know he always has, but he, I've always been pro-cop and we need to actually fund the police. Like direct, 
like that's not just a flip. That's complete inversion, and he's always believed that, and you're stupid if you think otherwise. Um, now, uh, the racist border wall is not being finished. It's just being cleaned up, and we can't explain how that works. And oh, it's, uh, it's worse than that. I mean, he's also said in his campaign repeatedly, we will have no new oil and drilling, you know, right. oil and gas drilling. And then he, then when the fucking oil crisis hits, he goes, that's not me. I didn't do that. <laughs> right, <laughs> like, right. You're like, on day one, on day one, they passed, uh, you know, executive order to, to stop any new leasing for oil and gas drilling on federal lands. They stopped it. They mm -hmm. also stopped the, uh, the pipeline. I forget the name of it. Uh, and then it's just, it's just this entire administration is the, it's like definitional gaslighting, and it's literally making me feel crazy, and it yeah. needs to stop. Well, like, that's and the I, intention. <laughs> I know, working. I know, but as much as I didn't like the Trump uh, administration, at least like I felt like there was some level of truth that was being told. Right. This is this is wild, and I, I mean, even the Obama administration, like every administration in my lifetime, they they at least attempted to make their bullshit sound plausible. Yeah. This administration is just like it's out the fucking window, dude. They're like, we're gonna fix the the wall that uh, you know, the problem that the administration left behind. How are you gonna do it? How are you gonna do it? We're, we're not we're gonna going finish to it. We're going to fix. No, we're going <laughs> to fix the wall. Okay, how are you gonna do it? We're gonna fix. We're gonna fix the mess at the prior administration. How are you gonna do it? Fix it. We're gonna fix it. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I mean, frankly, the chaotic neutral part of me loves this. Like, it's horrifying, yes, but it's also more on display and flagrant than it's ever been. Like, uh. we used to be called a conspiracy theorist if you believed that uh, Jeffrey Epstein was running a pedophile island. Now it's just a thing, and we just accept it as normal. Um, and stuff like this, I feel like common people can watch stuff like this if they see it. Um, I mean, that's kind of the point of this show, I, I suppose. But uh, if common people see this like how do you how do you come back from that how do you look at these people and not think that they're completely full of shit when she won't even answer the question a very very simple and obvious childish question that was asked of her i mean obviously i think that most democrat supporters don't even see this stuff because they only watch you know cnn or whatever and if they if they even mention it it's to mention basically the narrative of pierre jean pierre cory or whatever her name is i always forget her name what's her first name i don't remember know. I don't know. Something okay. French. It doesn't really matter. Something French uh, and black and gay. I don't know. Kareen jean Pierre. There, there we go. There it is. Yeah. Uh, so I don't, I mean, if you are a Democrat supporter and you actually are like paying attention to the news more broadly, I I don't, like you, you must just be in on it. You must just be like, okay, like, yeah, we're going to, you know, we're going to bullshit our way through this uh, because we also don't really like this flood of immigrants. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, right. I, I, they they rationalize it all. I don't I don't know. I don't know how you could like actually support this administration and hear these blatant, you know, lies or whatever you want to call obfuscations, whatever you want to call them, and not just be like, this is bullshit. It's all bullshit. Yeah. It's all so much bullshit. Jesus Lord. Now, as racist as Joe Biden is for for definitely not building a wall between us <laughs> and Mexico, um, I, I'm starting to think that. Mexicans might be okay with it now because uh, California and other Americans are flooding Mexico City and some locals are pissed off about it. Um, so uh, here's my shout theory. out to Mark Claire. <laughs>